This video is sponsored by Stream Studios. Hey guys, Brendonia Productions here, and welcome to this video. Now this is actually my first sponsored video, and I'm just going to take a little moment to uh, mention Stream Studios, who actually designed my new YouTube background, my new YouTube intro, and my new YouTube icon. Um, so if you need a new YouTube background, icon, intro, whatever you need, um, go ahead and head over onto uh, Stream Studios channel right now, which is youtube.com slash stream studios. Link is in the description. All right, and today I'm going to continue with part three of how to make an application uh, that is linked to a database. Now, part three is actually going to be on how to register users. Now, the first thing we want to do when uh, we register unit users is actually create a new form in our project. Now, this form will actually be used for the user to enter all their information. So we're just going to keep it named form two. And uh, now we need to make spaces where the user can actually enter their information. So we're going to create two labels. And we're going to make one label say username. And uh, one label say password. And uh, then we're going to have two text boxes as well. Now... What you have to remember is the fact that the username box is named text box one and the password box is named text box two. And then we're going to name or have a button to actually submit the information. Now keep in mind we are not uh, changing the text on some of these just to keep this program or this uh, tutorial minimal on time. Now what we're actually going to want to do to uh, make this a whole lot easier on everybody is we're actually going to go over to our form one and uh, double click on our login button and everything that's on the uh, button one dot click we're just gonna highlight and uh, copy and then once you're done with that you want to go to form two and double click on the button and paste everything in now there should be a bunch of error lines but that's okay because we're gonna fix that soon what you need to do is go above your public class and import the MySQL library again which is imports MySQL dot data dot MySQL client And then we have right under public class form 2, you just need to type public con as my SQL connection. And then we should be all good. Error messages should go away. So now what we need to do is because uh, now this is actually going to be kind of complicated, but we're just going to pretty much change the my SQL command and have it run through that. And then we're going to check if the uh, username exists and if it does we're going to say that username already exists and you cannot create an account like that so first thing we want to do is actually log into our database which I'm going to do now now you guys better not have messed with it this time Nice, guys. Thank you. Okay. So now the first thing we want to do is make sure that the uh, username that we typed in in our register form uh, is not already taken. So we're going to select, uh, yeah, everything from new table where the username equals uh, the uh, username we entered. Now it's pretty much saying if... All right, so we just need to, whoa, sorry, I did that kind of fast. Now, what this is saying is if the username exists in the database, and then this is checking the password. So we don't even want to check the password. And then um, we also want to delete this else. So if the username exists in the database, we are simply going to um, say uh, username already in use okay so if it is uh, if it already exists then we will not register it but if it does not already exist then we're going to register the new account now what we pretty much need to do is type the above coding and uh, 
yeah, it's it's pretty easy. So what we're gonna want to do is uh, say dim SQLs query two as a string dim data two as my SQL data reader dim adapter two as new my SQL data adapter whoops now if you don't know what I'm doing I'm just copying everything up here because we we didn't need the same information to connect to the my SQL server and just putting a two on the end of it to make it a new uh, variable command two as new my SQL command command two dot command text equals SQL query 2 forgot the Y there uh, command dot connection now the connection we can leave the same but uh, adapter 2 dot select command equals command 2 and then we're in data 2 equals command 2 dot execute reader now this is the complicated part right here where we have to actually um, create the SQL command now the SQL has certain syntax that you need to use and I'm just going to flat out tell you what it is so to create uh, new entries into a certain table you're going to use the code insert now you also want to specify what table you are inserting into so you need to say space into and then space and then your table so if we go back to our database here, our table is called new table. So we're just going to put that there. And then we need to open and close parentheses. Okay, so while we're um, inside the parentheses, we need to insert where, where we want to insert this new information. So if we look back at our table, we have three fields, ID, username, and password. And when we... Uh, when we created the registration form we had two fields username and password so what we want to do is actually make it so it only enters the username and password into the database so the first thing it's going to enter is the username uh, then it's going to enter the password uh, that's all good right and then what we are going to type is values now this is actually where the uh, the information is going for these two values so first thing we want to do is close quotations so we can actually um, insert our information and then we're going to want to type and text box one dot text because that is where we save the username username goes first here username goes first here and then we're going to want to open up quotations again by saying and and then we're going to add a comma to um, specify that this is a new entry and then hit and again text box two dot text and then we're just going to want to hit uh, quotations no and quotations apostrophe parenthesis quotations now I know this looks kind of confusing but I'll run it down right now um, pretty much what we're doing is inserting into our table the username and password where the username where we specify with uh, apostrophes uh, is textbox one dot text and the password which we also specify with apostrophes is textbox two dot text um, so hopefully you understood that I'm sorry if you didn't but because my SQL has a whole nother language that is not vb.net it is really hard to explain it to you guys uh, unless I did a whole set of tutorials on it but I tried my best right there so um yes now that we've got our coding all good we just need to link the two forms so if we go back to our original login form and create a new button uh, this button will be called register we are going to show form 2 now what we also want to do in form 2 is when we register once we're successfully registered we want to make a message box saying you've registered so now we can actually test out the project and see if it works so we debug the project and um, we have the username password login and then we actually want to register so we're going to set the username to uh, Brando, Brandonio and the password to lol and then we press button 1 
and then once we do that it says that username already in use well that's because my account that I created earlier if we look over here the username is Brandonio oh oh hey look at that somebody uh, added a nice present so somebody actually entered their username I ate all the cookies and the password cookies that's cool but now we're going to enter a new username or er, user with the register form so I'm just going to make the username Brandonio with three O's and then press button one and um, it doesn't say you've registered so this is a bad sign but we're going to refresh the page here and see what happens okay guys sorry about that after a long time researching I finally figured out the problem now I didn't even see this one coming but you need to add a few lines of code and make a few changes first of all where it says insert into new table parenthesis make sure you have a space after new table second of all make sure you didn't make the same mistake I did and say command dot connection is con you need to make sure it says command two dot connection equals con now what we're actually going to do is because this is wall data dot read we cannot start a new mysql block until we close this data and um, so what we need to do is say dim username as boolean up at the top equal to true and then if uh, the username is already in use we're gonna set username equal to false and then otherwise we're gonna set username equal to true and then down here okay so here's what I did if data dot has rows equals true we're going to do message box username already in use and then we're going to username equal false and then set data to close and if it's not already in use then we are going to also close the data and set username equals to true and then down at the bottom here so I deleted this whole block from the else category down at the bottom here we're going to say data dot close and then we're going to start a new if block if username equals true then and then here we are going to put the big mysql block now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this for you guys hopefully you got that all I'll give you a chance to look it over and I'm going to register a new account so username Brandonio with three O's and password lol and then we press button one and with no surprise there it says you've registered now if we go back to our database uh, and refresh the page you can actually see that uh, once it loads once it loads you can actually see that our new uh, entry Brandonio with three O's and password lol was entered into the server and it was automatically given the ID of four so um, here's one whoa here's one final look at the coding and I'm um, sorry about that whole whoa moment I opened up a project that I wasn't supposed to let you guys see so I'll black that out for you <laughs> so you probably didn't see anything so it didn't even matter to you get <sighs> okay so anyway <laughs> um, uh, hopefully you guys can get a good look at the coding. The coding is going to be in the description as always and um, I hope you guys have a nice day and thanks for watching. I'm sorry for once again making erroneous mistakes during my video but uh, hey that's what you get for uh, not practicing the code before you make the video. Sorry. So please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, donate, have a nice day and uh, remember to comment, 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 comment. I love it when you guys comment. Alright, thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Peace. Adios.